Welcome back to the channel and thank you for stopping by. Today I'm taking you with me exploring new waterways. The only way that you can find new hot fishing spots is to go to new spots. This is something that I really like to do, but whenever you do it, give yourself the best opportunity and show up to those locations under the best fishing conditions. Make sure you know exactly what fish you're targeting, the season, as well as the weather patterns that you're currently under. Give yourself optimal fishing conditions for that fish. Otherwise, if you show up to a spot and catch nothing, you might assume that it's a horrible fishing spot, where in fact it might actually be pretty good or great. So what am I doing? I'm going snakehead fishing in post-frontal conditions, which is never a good time to go snakehead fishing. I already know that, but I have a strategy that I usually employ for going to new fishing spots. That is, I stay on the move. I'm visually looking at spots, I'm using my fish finder to actually mark locations to come back to and fish more heavily. So I'll travel a big distance and I'll look at spots. I mean, I'm already looking at topographical and bathymetric maps, but I also want to get eyes on a spot to see what I believe are going to be productive places to fish. So generally the first time I go, it's usually not a hot, I usually don't have a hot fishing day, but I have developed many great fishing spots using this strategy. So I'll have one day where I'm not catching much because I'm exploring, and then I'll go back at a later time and get on a bunch of fish. So I'm taking you with me, and uh, whenever I get out there and I get on the fish, I'm gonna get back to you. snake. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm not seeing much in the snakehead front. I'm always moving where the carp are breeding the most frequently. I attract breeding carp really got to get cast right up against the shore right in the little nooks you don't your chances of catching snakehead are diminished fish casting out in the middle. What we got here? We got a catfish. <laughs> Channel catfish. Exploring new water using a Kitex swim bait. This is the Easy Shiner. Got us a catfish. There we are. That's what he ate. Kitex Easy Shiner. All right. <laughs> A little bit of action today to break it up, and uh, I guess I'll take it, you know? There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. There's one catfish, there might be another catfish. Who knows? As soon as I threw it in, as soon as I threw it in, fish hit. The only thing I don't like about catching a catfish is, man, they slime you up good. I mean, I'll take the fish, don't get me wrong. A huge snakehead jump out, oh my God. It figures I was not recording. A huge snakehead. You gotta be kidding me, man. <laughs> uh, buzz bait. I got a little bass to hit this. I think I'm gonna try a chatter bait for a little while.
Here's the chatterbait. Whoops. First perfect cast. I think I threw it off. <laughs> oh my god. Apparently I did not tie it well enough. Chatterbait take two. The last time I didn't tie it on and I just threw it into the water like a dumbass. There we are. <laughs> there we are, a snag. The chatterbait. I threw one in the water and I threw another one into a snag. That's par for the course right there. Oh, there it is, snakehead. There it is. There it is. First fish on the Z Man finesse frog. It has been a while since I caught me a snakehead. I think this might end up being a new favorite bait. So I've been out here exploring a new location, a new area. And I've probably been on the water for four or five hours and really I haven't been fishing really all that hard. I've really just been trying to find nooks and crannies and places that uh, look fishable. Um, today I've caught a small mouth or a small largemouth bass. I caught a uh, 24 inch catfish and I caught this snakehead. Uh, this is really just me exploring a new area and just trying to kind of see uh, what it has to offer. Uh, I'm trying to look for snakehead like I'm looking for new snakehead fishing locations. Uh, and I'm looking for, for locations that are snakehead like. Uh, so right now I'm on the western shore, I'm not on the eastern shore. The eastern shore, man, the toughest part. Another snakehead right there, just good. They are way, way deep in this cover. Way deep in this cover. Uh, and that's what I learned right now. I mean, they pretty much always are. They're in sanctuary mode. But today it seems uh, that they're even deeper. And the stuff that they're in here, holy cow, is never tough to cast into. You're just basically casting into just snag after snag after snag. And if you're not willing to do that, then you're not going to catch many fish. So I had a snag cast as soon as it hit the water. The snakehead hit it. So at least I have something that works, so, uh, there we are, <laughs> there we are. <laughs> I missed all the action from the snakehead blow up because the GoPro does not want to work. Man, that frustrate, that frustrate. You can do it. That's been a lot of my fishing today. Jerking my lure. Jerking my lure off the uh, off the weeds. Turns out I'm pretty good at jerking off weeds. There are so many places here that look like they're really snakehead friendly, and either no one's home or no one's hitting. I've spooked several snakeheads today, and I was able to only get one to hit. A largemouth bass catfish and a snakehead. The spot up here looks snakeheady. Oh there's a big snakehead right here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There it is. Oh my god, I don't know if you could have seen that. A huge snakehead right there. I cast right on top of them. Like I said, these areas look snakeheady, but the snakeheadies apparently they're an inch. That was a really big one. That was a really big one. Well by big one I mean it was Probably 29, 30 inches. It's just frustrating. A day like today, this is post frontal conditions. And in post frontal conditions, you don't always get them to hit like you'd like. Moreover, you saw them close to shore. If you're not casting into the shore, you're not catching fish. There's a snakehead right here, if you can see him. Right here. Right here. Snakehead on the move. It's crazy being able to sight cast them so easily here. Snakehead right here. There are so many here. 
and I'm gonna catch him. Oh, I see one. I see one. I see one right up here. It's a big one. Spooked him. I hit him with a the lure. There are just a ton of them out here. Holy cow, is it ever frustrating. I'm seeing them, I'm throwing it directly on top of them and nothing. It's the definition of frustrating. I mean, there are just tons of snakehead here. Tons of snakehead. There it is, snakehead, right? There are so many snakehead here. Why are there so many here? Put a soft jerk bait on. I don't know if that's gonna do the trick or not. I have no idea, but I can tell you what, for the most part, they are not interested in anything I'm doing. I think I see another one over here. Can't tell though. From sitting down, because this is a spot that I'm talking about that looks very snaky. Yep, right here. Snakehead is right here. Right. Does that ever suck or not? I cannot get him to hit any damn thing. That's like the tenth one I've just spotted. I see one right here. Here he is, right here. All right, guys, wrapping up another day of fishing. The goal for today was exploration. I wanted to find a new body of water that I could catch snakehead from the west side of Maryland. And I think it's been a success. I was only able to land one snakehead, but I was able to sight at least 15. So I was able to actually see 15 swimming around. This is not the greatest time of year to be targeting snakehead. Snakeheads are in migration mode. They're finding, they're going to the headwaters, which is where I'm located, uh, to find breeding locations and uh, mates. Uh, they're not always willing to hit a lure, and especially after a post frontal, uh, we had a uh, big storm move through last night and I wasn't expecting today to be hot. I just wanted to explore a new area and I'm ecstatic that I was at least able to see a bunch of snakeheads and able to catch one. I was also able to catch a catfish and a largemouth bass. Whether or not I get to see that footage or not remains to be seen. The GoPro just turns on and off at will and uh, <laughs> overheats and uh, I don't get having an action camera that can't stand cold and can't stand heat. I mean, <laughs> uh, that, was a, that was a fake laugh, by the way. So the lures that I, were, I was using today, I mostly was using a swim bait. Uh, it was just because that was the only thing that I could really get close to shore. The water was actually too deep at the shore and top water, whenever I was trying a hollow body frog, just wasn't doing it. I was trying something new. I was trying a Z-Man finesse frog. They float. Uh, I had it weighted so it would go down a little bit in the water column. Um, I caught the snakehead on that one. I was using buzz bait, chatter bait, spinning bait. I was using a jerk bait, a soft plastic jerk bait. I tried all kinds of things and I could not entice many snakehead, only one snakehead to hit my lure and that was it. Uh, like I said, this time of year you can't always get snakehead to hit a lure consistently just because Whenever it's the breeding season, sometimes they have something else in their mind and they're migrating to new waters, new places, and uh, they're focused on one thing and it's not uh, lures. I'm not frustrated, but it's one of those things that whenever you're using a lure, or using a bunch of lures and nothing's working, you're thinking they're all trash. That's what can get into your mind. You know, nothing's working. Uh, sometimes it's not you, sometimes it's the fish. At least that's what you should tell yourself. The way you feel better at the end of the day. <laughs> That's what I tell myself. So I definitely still had a lot of fun, uh, at least able to catch three fish. Usually if I'm only catching three fish, I'm saying, what did I do wrong? What went wrong today? But because I'm exploring a new location, it's really tough for me to really fish an area hard when I'm trying to explore it. So I'm just basically just trying to see what, I mean, there's uh, several miles I'm traveling up and down to see uh, what looks fishable and what doesn't. So I can't really fish anything all that hard. So I brought four rods with me today, and that was really so that while I'm exploring, I'm not spending a lot of time 
changing out lures. I have basically four lures that I think are gonna be effective. That way, once something doesn't work, I can immediately pick something else, cast on location, and then if that doesn't work, travel on to the next spot. So I'm not constantly changing lures around. I basically am able to use the lures that I believe are gonna be the most effective. Uh, today, there wasn't a lot that was effective, but at least I was able to catch some fish. All right, well, thank you guys for coming along. I actually hope it's useful to you. So next time, hopefully it's more of a productive fishing day instead of an exploration fishing day. But uh, I guess until then, I guess I'll see you on the water.
All right, my wife's gonna give this a try. What we got here is waffle, tzatziki, and snakehead. The reason I'm using a waffle is because those waffle holes hold the tzatziki really well. It keeps all that flavor in the sandwich without pushing it out. And I'll tell you what, it is absolutely delicious. Let's see. It is absolutely delicious. Mm. Really good. Do you love me now? <laughs> Always, but I'll love you more if you make more of these for me. <laughs> it's really good. Go. Okay, so now I may eat this waffle sandwich. Abby, what do you think about this waffle sandwich? Is it? I think that it's absolutely delicious. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody in my family has tried this and it is absolutely delicious. This is just a dish that I made up. I've been to Greece before, I've had tzatziki and it is a perfect pair to any sort of grilled meat, period. The waffles are here just to hold the tzatziki in place and I'll tell you what, man, it is delicious. Mmm. Mmm. It has that garlic flavor. <clears throat> you can taste some of that cucumber. And the snakehead has such a great texture in your mouth. It really does. It's so good. And the waffle holds all that flavor in place. Mmm. 
Anyway, I really hope you give this a try and let me know what you think about it in the comments. All right, until next time, I'll see you in the water.